Lesson 3. Force Vectors. Part 1. In the truss, you can see some triangles and very rarely squares and rectangles. However, when you are on a truss bridge, these triangles work together to hold the active weight that is on it. So how do they hold up? To help us with that, we will need to know about vectors. Vectors tell you magnitude or amount and direction. For example, you are running. The magnitude would be 5 miles per hour and the direction is forward. The vector amount would be 5 miles per hour forward. Quick note. It is important to know what the negative of something is. You can be running in a negative direction. It just means you're running backwards. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Directions of a vector can also be written as an angle. When the three angles come together like members and joints, they also make a triangle. Now, Mr. John Herrick, one of the competition's founders, will explain why this is important. When you're building a bridge, you do not just have vertical members, you have members that are at an angle. When we have a bridge with a angle member, then we determine how many degrees from vertical the member is, and then try to break down how much weight in each direction that member can handle.